Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope y'all doing all right. We got this uh, kicking off right here. I got uh, my second monitor uh, going in right now, going ham. I got my, uh, I got the live chat open, by the way, y'all. Um, so when I look over here, you know, that's just me looking at the chat. Today we're doing some cringy ass PHP. And I uh, hope y'all are looking forward to this, uh, you know, possibly cringe situation here. But, um, hope everyone's doing all right today. I'm rocking the, uh, rocking the swag today. If you know, you know. And, uh, we're just gonna get started here, man. Um, let me serve this bad boy right here. Oh no. Oh no. I need to install PHP. Brew install PHP. Let me see if uh, this will work. Uh, install latest PHP. Hopefully this works. Usually in the past, I never have a good experience installing PHP. I'm not going to lie. Maybe on the PHP GitHub, they got something. Hmm. I'm just going to use Brew. Let's see what comes up. Brew and saw PHP eight oh PHP eight point oh let's get it please work please work hope everyone's doing okay today it's been a pretty warm day today I think uh, winter is over for from my area. Oh man, come on, T Mux. So I'm gonna put together a little uh, to do list, to do list here, cause uh, I gotta do like a few things today with the site. Um, let me come over here. To do list. Let me make this a little bigger for y'all. Um, okay, this is what we got to do. We got to add the API folder for PHP email logic, add CAPTCHA, CAPTCHA validation, sending of contact email, add saving of emails to file plus checking of existence in file, design user success, error feedback displayed after form submit. That will be pretty easy. Change gets started to go to level up now section. Add on server. We'll do that. <sighs> I think the only uh thing with that is uh um I don't have my I don't on this computer I don't have my password to to like restart engine X. And damn yo, Bruce taking a while to install PHP, bro. Install on PHP depends the APR. Interesting, interesting. All right, so let me add something else to the to-do list. Um, I think that's everything. Really. I'm kind of uh, looking forward to this little uh, session here because I got my stand-up desk here. So I've been having a lot of neck pain, so like standing up I'm hoping will you know kind of fix a lot of those issues and I can make my screen a little higher but I have a little laptop stand for this computer so all right so I'm PHP 8 I thought it was doing that like the whole time we'll see 
Uh oh, that kind of looks like errors. Just downloading more crap. See, this is why I just don't like using brew. Like, what is it doing right now? <laughs> oh my god. Because, like, on Arch Linux, like, on my Arch Linux, like, it will say, like, install in PHP. These are the dependencies. Like, are you good? You know, hit yes, installs the crap. Like, I don't know what... Okay, it's upgrading Node for some reason. You know, which is okay. It's upgrading Python. Okay. Why the hell is Brew doing this right now? Come on. Oh, God. It's upgrading Ruby. Oh, God. There must be some options here for Brew. What are some install flags here? Oh, I can use a uh, less. I've been using less a lot more often. All right, so how do I say, okay, install the dependencies, okay. Download the platform. Hmm. Excuse me, y'all. How do I say? Where's like the option? I guess it would be only, only dependencies. No. Ignore dependencies. All right, we're just gonna keep moving here. <clears throat> All right. So now, let me just resource everything. Let's see if PHP runs. Oh my God. Okay. Um, where the hell is PHP, bro? I resign T Max. I mean, I turn. This is whack, yo. Why is it doing this? PHP. PHP not found, yo. Alright, this is getting insane now. PHP, uh, brew, install PHP. And hopefully this like does it see this is why I just hate brew like I understand the people that like made homebrew like this package manager like I understand like I get it but Jesus Christ yo what the hell please work yes okay Yes. Okay. Uh okay. Let me make sure this is the latest here. It should be. Um I know that Ferofu was having issues. The same issues. Oh, that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why. Okay, I know what to do. Uh so it has gulp to uh Minify the CSS. I just need to do that. I believe it's just gulp. Gulp. Minify. What the hell is going on here? Uh, MPM. Oh, this might ask for a pseudo password.
Alright. Some initial setup. Let me check the gold file first, okay? Alright, bam! Now this should work. Yes! Alright, here we go. Now we're cooking. Alright, so the plan here is... Yo, this look good, man! <laughs> For Rofu, my man, dude. Yo, this looks fire on here, dude. Damn. This looks good. Alright, so, um... I believe that this learn more had to go to here, right? Let's check our to-do list. Um, change get started to go to level up. I think that was this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's easy to do. Um... Level up now, I need to... Alright, this should work. Guess where goes to level up now? BAM! I do want it to be a little up though. We'll, we'll kinda, we'll kinda work on that later. Because... That does require some... Hmm, well, it's close, right? Just goes to the top of the content there. So I might just have to change out this margin top to the padding top. Now what happens? Ah, right, 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 bet, bet. Um, that is... Dot level up. Oh my god. Here we go. And then, um, go ahead and change this gulp to just be CSS, just so it's easier to type. Um, going to straight up git commit that right away. Um, renamed minify CSS to just CSS. Um, change the level up section margin to padding for hash link um same thing with this one added id for level up section and get started link going to straight up push that um oh okay so i added the git ignore sign up folder already kind of there um, I wonder if I should add the, uh, the, this folder of the compiled CSS, like, ready to go. Well, technically, I should, uh, I should have added, like, a source folder, like, a public folder. Because, like, in my Nginx, I need to, like, isolate my, uh, I need to, like, prevent people from requesting my .env and the package JSON and like all that crap, dude. So I think I might I might uh add another gulp thing to that. Um, let me add that to the to-do list here. Um, better public folder that does not contain sensitive files. Alright, so here's the fun part, um, so we're going to turn this into PHP, so, uh, we're just going to turn this into, uh, PHP sections, um, I think they're, like, technically called, like, blades or something, but what we're going to do is we're going to get, like, the top header part, um, keep the home landing page body section, then have the footer. So if we want to have more pages, we can. We just pop in the header, pop in the footer, and we just put our content there in the middle. So I'm going to move this into an infamous index.php. I'm going to make a um, components folder. Um, uh, components 
uh, header. Wait, no, I'm just gonna call it head. And we're going to take this stuff all the way through the top. Uh, okay, uh, bam. Just gonna do that. And then um, include. Bam. And then um, we need the footer. Um, components, footer. And we're going to go up, uh, up to here. PHP include components footer dot PHP. So you can't do this with Node.js, bro. Just to let y'all know, you can't do that with with Node.js, yo. Um, I do want to turn. Oh god, oh god. So some of this stuff. Um, HTML, HTML symbol for apostrophe, because that thing is, uh, messing up my, my syntax highlighting. I forgot what it was in React, though. Um, apostrophe. Bam, here we go. gonna plot this guy in right here god why is my Vim doing this all right all right here we got one last one um and then I'm going to say uh, make their pages, um, pages, home.php, and we're just going to put this in there. Well, we can keep, we, we can, we can keep that, we can keep that, we can keep that. Okay, so get had, uh, alright, and then, uh, Turn index HTML into PHP with components. Um, remove their pages. Added uh, top head component for pages. I'm just going to say that. Added bottom footer component for pages. Um, let me make sure everything still works. Oh god, what the hell is happening? Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Just a PHP amateur mistake, y'all. Fix PHP. Tag error. This should work now. Bam! Works just I knew. Alright, so we're going to make an API folder. And we do need to install like a couple things. Uh, we need to install Composer so we can add uh, some .m stuff and some Mailgun stuff so I can send emails. Already have my .env set up, so I don't need to like hide the stream or something like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna copy um, the one from my other project into uh, here. We go. Bam. Um. Alright, uh, Composer install? Damn, now I need to install Composer. Um, I usually have trouble installing Composer. On Mac OS though, on Mac OS though. 
a Mac OS Pro. Um, hmm. I don't want to install it just for my folder. This is what I want. Because <clears throat> I do not want to install Composer through Brew. Because I just know that it's going to be a disaster. It's just going to be. Like I've done this before like three times. Let me go to the GitHub. Usually the GitHub has sophisticated people. Oh god. It's leading me back here. To quickly install a composer in the current alright, I'm just gonna Okay. Um okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna do this then. I'm just gonna do this then. I bet. That's kind of cool, like, it's just running, uh, you know, PHP to, to install it. Now, what the hell is this output? Um, sudo move. Yes! That was the easiest composer installation ever. God, dude. Alright, so we're going to get ignore vendor. Um, um, get ignore slide notes file vendor folder. Um, let me, let me make sure all of these are correct. Alright, so we got the dot .m, don't know what the hell PSR7 is. Um, oh, I know what that is. Okay. What the hell? What? I'm gonna say Zack Stack site. There we go. Added composer packages for PHP API. And I'm going to slip over here my uh, capture. Put that in there. Um, dot env in there, and then I'm also going to slip over the contact. So, because this already sets up like the dot env, dot capture, like all that crap, yo. Um, so I will have to change some stuff in my capture though. Um, let me make sure my, my chat's working here. It's doing some funky stuff right now. Oh no, we good, we good, we good. Um well, I will need to change up some stuff in here. Found a phone number, we do not need this. 
Email, we don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. Um, so, add, save, wait, no. Check if email, check if email already exists in the signups text file. Like this, like there's no database, bro. Like this is just kind of this is just kind of ghetto right now. Um, submitted message. Nah, we don't need any of that. Um, uh, robot. That's me. Okay. Um. Zach stack, Zach stack sign up, um, check if email exists in file, um, if email exists, throw error, else, uh, push email to new line at end of file and then uh, continue down this so PHP well first let, let me get it uh let me get it uh let me add the capture I believe I need to add that to the head and I will look at my other project and see what the hell I did there. Ooh. Ooh, I believe I'll put it in the in the footer. Yep, add it to the to the footer. And uh, I'm going to move the scripts to the bottom as well. What the hell am I listening to right now? Alright, here we go, here we go. We got some synth. Got some dope synth. Added a uh, capture JS and move script import to bottom. Going to push that. Um. Hmm. Let me add the let me add the the form. Okay, so action we're going to go there method uh, post name email And I believe there's another form here. Yep. Uh, action equals um, hmm. Kind of want to change it to sign up, not a. Let me say sign up that PHP and then um
Because I do want to... They, they can both go to the same place. Because everyone's going to get a consulta free consultation. Alright, we got the submit. I do need to check if the submit's there, though. Um... Form. Let me check for input. Uh... Okay, action. Let me add the uh, method here. Method equals post. I believe that's it. Um. Yeah, we got that. We got that. Um. Hmm. See if it. Let's see if it works. Um. But instead of redirecting, let's, uh, let's just remove that, just so we can see what the hell happens. It's very possible that's because of the capture crap. And this will probably send me an email. Okay. okay um. So, no errors. So, I think that's good. Um, all right, let's do the, well, I want to, I want to remove the capture stuff. Yes. Token. Token. All right, so it's not going to check for that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, PHP push uh, append text to a file. So I've done this a long, long time ago. Yeah, F open, uh, write read. End of line, okay. But I think, uh, I think, uh, we should do that. And I do remember that you need to, I, I think this will work. Because I just thought you need to, like, yeah, F close. That's the thing you have to do. I, I kind of like this dude just better. But honestly, this guy, why does this guy have so many more votes? <laughs> Um, sign ups, file, and this guy had the F closer. Um, all right, come on, music. Why are you doing this to me? I bet. So hopefully this works. Where? Ah, uh, my semicolons. Hey. Alright, so that guy didn't even have an F close, so I guess he's correct. Reader. Alright, so it, it freaking worked just like that. Hi. Right. Alright, it's kinda working. Um
PHP sanitize input text. I remember there's a function. Here we go. A very compelling example is JSON. Yeah, I'm using that, so I guess that already did the thing. Alright. Guess we'll have to test that later, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so... PHP read a file. PHP search file for text and this actually might be kind of slow or performing but I don't plan on having like a ton of um, sign ups honestly where this will be like slow and a PHP example multiple matching lines will be displayed okay Multi line. Okay. Preg match all. Is that what he used? Preg quote. What the hell? Oh no, he got he he has preg match all there. Make this bigger for y'all. What the hell is that decorator? What the hell is that app symbol, bro? Shamitomar. Tomar. I'm gonna use the highest voting answer. And we're going to turn this into a function. If email uh Check email already signed up. Um, error response. So now we're going to add our function here. Oh, I'm doing I'm going going JavaScript on them. Okay. Now I'm going to add a variable for sign up sign up file path. What the hell is this guy searching for? I just don't know what the hell this 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 slash is. Ok. 
Copy and paste, baby. Um, Do I need a function? Do I need a semicolon after a function? I don't remember this. This this is like real sketchy like PHP, I'm not gonna lie. Um Got another semicolon. Okay, what the hell? Undefined variable, what the hell? Oh. Alright. Um I bet. Uh, let's use another email. Well no, let me use the current email. Let me see what the hell happens. It should return with error equals one. All right, awesome. And that should not, uh, all right. Got another success. Ah, right, word, word, word. Bam, we got perfect, just like that, yo. This dot PHP end of line is so... Oh, I see what he did. He just appended... I see what he did there. That's pretty smart. And this should be sending me a an email. Let me see. This should be sending an email to me. And it's not. Check my spam folder. Nope. Mail going acting weird right now. Mail going acting weird right now. 13 packages are looking for funding. That's insane. The only insane part about that is like, where are these 13 packages? They like dependencies of my dependencies? That's cool. All right, let me add, uh, added form, submit, actions to API I mean you can call it an API like um, added capture initializing for API Added sign up, uh, sign up, uh, API post handler. We're going to move. Oh, thank God for Git, yo. Alright, uh, let me update the to-do list here. Alright, bam. Uh, need to check that. Sending of contact email. Need to figure out why that's not working. Um, figure out why 
mail gun and I'll send an email. Alright, bam. We need to do this. Alright, so better public folder. I think I think I know I think I know what to do. I think I know how to do that. Hmm. All right, so this this is gonna this is gonna turn into like some pretty whack PHP. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to keep it minimal. You know what I'm saying? I guess this is minimal. I mean, I I hope so. It's just some PHP, man. You just whip it up with PHP. So I'm going to make a public folder. And I'm going to move the this in here. So I change these paths to up. I'm going to move uh, this into public. Because the head should point to that. Okay. Um. Hmm. I could proxy the back end. I could do that. Hmm. Could do that. Have a proxy. Have this here. So then that's accessible. So I need to restart this by going into public. Please don't break. Okay, it's working. Okay. Let me see if this works. Okay. Okay, I know what I know what that'll happen. Here, go up. No, we need to go up again. Probably want to increase that score. Hmm. I'll probably check that later. Path and the bet. All right, so now, so now my public folder. There's nothing in here, but I will move the the um sign up path to be up here. So I will remove sign up here. I'll move sign up here. I uh, get started. Um, all right, awesome. This public folder is gonna help out a ton, dude. Especially with that nginx setup. Um, all right, move, um, public accessible routes into public folders. Ooh, I like this song. This is 
Wow, so here, man. Um, hey, on stage to do the. Um, what the hell? I got stage. Okay. Um, Mario did this. Figure out why Mailgun not send an email. Okay, um, let's do the capture first. Um, want to double check over here. Um, whoops. The hell am I doing? Alright, um I do need to check something on my my Arch Linux, by the way. Um I think I just need to allow I just need to allow uh this local host um, domain, and, uh, that should be pretty simple to do, um, it's just that, like, on Google's, like, API, dude, it's just, like, I just want to go to the admin page, bro. Admin console settings, it's like tucked away. Nope, it takes me to the docs for the admin page. This is interesting. How do I get to the... All right, how do I get to my admin page? This is gonna take a second, y'all. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, Zach Stack. Okay, uh, sure. Alright, so I need to, I need to send over, um, some keys. Oh, man. I need to send over some keys for myself here. So I need to hide some, some stuff here, but, um, hope everyone's doing okay today. I know we're having a little technical difficulties right now, I guess you can say, um, but I'm just going to send myself, um, these keys to this computer. Gonna put up the Neo Fetch there for y'all. And then, um, what I need to do is bring over, um, the ENV. Uh, One second, y'all. One second. Alright, site is that key. This key is that key. Alright. Yeah, let me just slam my keyboard. Alright. 
All right, so this is the public key. This is what I need. Um, I believe I need to capture. I'm just gonna put my public key here. And then over here in my secret key, E and V, I'm going to add that. Having a second monitor for this, for like streaming is like very helpful. Okay. So, um, I need to double check on my other site what the hell I did because um hmm models here we go button submit uh submit yeah this here started got the get started there did I already add my key here we go all right so hopefully this works and it's still styled the same um what the hell is my tabbing at Tabbing is weird. Ah, uh, no, we good, we good. Callback on submit. Okay. Okay, so I just need to. Uh, uh, let me just bring that over. Now let me just double check. Uh, oop, I refreshed the wrong thing. But I will switch up the music here, the, ooh, Tycho, or Tycho. Ooh, they have usually pretty good music. And that's what's up. Uh, so let me see which input is the one. This is level up now. Damn, Farufa did a good ass job on this site, yo. Right, close drawer, blah, 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 blah. to move this to here, move the JS folder here. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Ooh, might need that. Show contact mode. No, I don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Don't need any of this, don't need that. Here we go, this is what I need. Check query values, I will need that. Initialize modals, do not need that. I will need this. That's what I did. So I had to, I remember what I did. So we need to go back into our here, go here. And then I put a hidden, hidden. Well, it's gonna be a little weird with two forms that do the same thing. 
So I can just set all of them to it. Um, and then, um, Tokens equals that. God, why are my tabs so weird now? I know what to do. So we're just gonna rename this bad boy. Um you may get element by the level up capture token, I believe is what I called it. So we can remove that. Um, level up email, going to copy this. Then we just check if the email. And I'm just gonna put the required check there. And I do want to um, email dot flag. What the hell was that? I, I had to do like some real funky like JavaScript here, y'all. Report validity. That was it. Require to email. Okay, okay. Um. God, I can't type right now. My keyboard's a little awkwardly placed right now. All right, we're good, we're good now. Sometimes it like moves, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay. All right. All right, so let me go to the sign up here let me add back in the capture stuff um not working
this should work. Alright, so we're getting some 4 4 errors. Okay, it's not finding my function. So. It should be at the bottom. Should be right over here, man. Nope, I'm just importing the wrong thing. Huh? Nope, I'm just dumb. Try one more time. Oh, let me let me try it here. Cannot find that. What the hell, bro? All right, so so I know why. 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 So I just need to put this stuff down here, remove the that, and refresh. I don't know what the heck was going through my mind there. So this should work. Queries is getting called like twice. Um, a little weird. Show error model. Alright, I don't know why queries down there is being called twice. Cause that is really weird. What the hell is this VM34 crab, yo? Alright, anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. We're just gonna keep it moving here. Sometimes I kind of wish like I would use like Symphony or like a bigger like framework or something. You know, just to kind of make some of this like a little bit easier, but like I do not want to set up like a database or like anything like that or just get a bunch of bloated dependencies. Um, so I guess the capture is working. I just have to put it on the other uh, input here. And this one is called get free consultation. And we got that. And we're going to say on free consultation submit. I'm going to call this um, consultation email. Um, we're going to call this consultation form. And what was the other thing I had to do? Okay, that's email. Oh, required. 
Then, uh... So now I just gotta copy and paste this one function. Even though this feels like really not good at all. Um, we gotta submit this form. We got the consultation form email here. Oh, we need to add the hidden input. Type hidden. We'll call this consultation capture token. Token. No placeholder. Um. Bam. And I do wish this was TypeScript, not gonna lie. But we have enough auto completion kind of for us, so. Um, let's see if the consultation one works. All right, that worked. All right. Let me double check the signups. Okay. going to say um, added um, capture checks for for sign up forms added checks tokenizing um what the hell do I do with footer what the hell <laughs> don't need that all right we're gonna update our to-do list here for that we're gonna do that next Move JS folder into public. Ah. All right, uses success and error feedback. So, what should that look like? That's a damn good question. Hmm. I was thinking just like a top hat like sort of deal, maybe a modal. Um, go into the figma now let's see let's see what we got to deal with here um, all right so I do like this modal I mean, the background color does seem like a little much, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's go to Lambert Pro. And it better show this one. See how it looks. I mean, it's okay. It's okay.
Hmm. Maybe just the standard black? Yeah, that standard black was pretty fire. Alright. So, I'm going to add a add the modal I'll call this um, um thank you modal and then we're going to have our overlay div class modal then we're going to have the awesome h2 and you gotta change that text because they're not going to receive an email um i will so i will say thank you for your interest in the zach stack program um, expect expect an email for Zach Sin. and then this will just close the button Alright, so, oh, we have to fix some of the gulp crap. Um, alright, so, alright, so, I'm going to, so this could get messy, this could get messy, alright, thank you, modal, background whatever color that was I want to add a little bit of blue to it Defaults display none. Oh, that's because we got a freaking. Here we go. We got we we got something. 
We got something. stuff right now. And uh, I can have Gulp watch and compile, but it, it, it like doesn't really work. So I got to kind of worry about fixing that a little later. So I'm not entirely sure why like left and right is like, why it's like this. All right, so the wisp stuff is messing with it. Oh my god. Alright, let me make sure, let me see the overlay. make this percent. Percent seems to work. Uh, now for the for the modal part. Um we're gonna add the border width to wait no width to about 640 pixels at the max width is 90 percent um height 557 max height 90 What the? Okay. Alright, so it's kind of working. As y'all can see. We're going to add uh, some padding of about the. Uh, what I like to do is, I like to set to 100% then use my little ruler here. So that's about 50 pixels padded, which I, which I think is, which is good. All right, I think it's time to fix this like gulp watch. Did that work? 
Bro, what is this chat right now? This is so weird, dude. We got a we got a bot. Anyway, I'm gonna see it. I want to see if this is actually working. Um, I think what I have to actually edit is. Yeah, so it's gonna watch all of that. Oh, that's because. Alright, so I guess it's working. Just that this background color ain't ain't there. Yeah, this certain thing's not working. I think this should do it, right? What the hell, bro? See if this works. All right, there we go. But this thing is big as hell, boy. Golly. Uh, CSS center modal. I 
this is like a transform. Yep. And I probably won't put a width. I'll just keep the pattern. The hell's this top margin, yo? Now we gotta, gotta. kind of big but oh we got to uh Solid this color. Oof. Now we just got a text line. I hope. Bam, bam, bam. Size of this text 20. How much spacing we got there? We got a good, I'm gonna say 100 pixels. And margin auto to center, I believe. I'm gonna set this to block. 100 pixels top, zero bottom, out of left and right. That look good. We'll have to add a media query in there. Let's check this out.
Yeah, what happened to the overlay? Where'd it go? Is it even there? It looks like it is. It's just like... Acting weird. That's weird. It's like, what is that back there? Why is, why is that color here? Like, where's that coming from? Another overlay. I'm going to say call this modal overlay. There we go. And uh for your interest in the Zach Stack coaching program. Expect an email from Zach soon. Great. Then that will close that. Hmm. just need to show this modal success. Show success. Document, get element by ID. Thank you, modal. Add, uh, class list. Uh, add open. Something's happening. Alright, so this should absolutely not show. God, no, no success. Let's go to dot PHP. Okay. Alright, bam, bam, bam. It's not showing, it's not showing. Bam, I sign up. This will probably gave me an error. Yes, it does. Let me try another email. And then on that, we close the model. Okay. button equals get element by ID just gonna get this 
element. Remove open. Bam. Display none, display none. So this actually doesn't need that. So it's not there, it's just not there. And I kind of do want to stop the overflow. I think I can do that in the, in the JS. Like loading. Oh, maybe the capture. Yeah, some Favicon stuff. Spot stuff. Make it a uh, responsive. Mm, that's good. That's good. I would say about 950. I'll put an 890 just so it's safe. Um, going to get this guy. Um, hmm. Maybe 80%. Oof. And then for mobile, damn, yeah. Oh, bring this guy to the right side here, make it easier to see. And I'm about to go to the iPad. Definitely on mobile though. 
Um, increase this at about 500 pixels. I think that's because there's a max width on this guy. Oh, that's a little, a little better. We're just gonna shrink the padding a little bit. And we definitely got to shorten that H2 there, font size, uh, 40 pixels. And then uh, for the margin top of this button, we're just going to shrink it down a little bit. And we can shrink the P, we can shrink the P to be a little bit smaller as well. 19 seems good. Alright. Um, I, I do want to add um, I did want to add a, well, I'll keep the, the clothes on that because, hmm, great. Ooh, that's fire, bro. No, I won't add a click off on the on the overflow. I mean the overlay, my bad. Um what next? What next? What next? Maybe the error modal. And I will basically copy this here. Error modal. And I'll create classes for that. You know, I'll say whoops. Something with wrong. Something went wrong. Submitting your email. Please try again. Okay. Maybe full okay like that.
Alright, so... just not a good developer and uh, I will say uh, if the or email already exists I, I will say um, you know success anyway so I'll make a function Success response, 200, success. And then if email already signed up, success response, bro. Something was wrong submitting your email. Oh, I need to initialize that part, so. Um, in the error modal, um, close error modal button, close error modal equals close error modal button, close error modal on click equals basically the same thing as that guy. Hopefully this guy works. Bam. Perfect. Alright, so added styles for the modals. Added styles for the modals. Um, API sign up. Um, Let me add the success response to the bottom here. Um, added success response if email already signed up. Um, added thank, thank you success modal and error modal, added, added, uh, closing, and showing of the Modals, modals for feedback. Fix gulp wash mode. Um, added import of modal CSS. The main styles. Um, let's check the to do. 
Figure that out. Uh, add on server. So, so adding on the server will be one hell of a job. Well, well not really. I'll, I'll just have, have to. I need my password. Uh, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. do. I'll see what I can do. Um. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Um. Yeah, add to do. Completed task. For task and to do list. Figure out why Mailgun is not sending email. That's a good question. Hmm. Not sure why. But um guys, I've been uh streaming for almost two hours here. I think I've completed a lot of work here. Um the decided will be up very soon, y'all. Um I must uh, thank Roku again for cleaning the front end. Very well done. It was very clean. Like, look at it. Very clean. Looks super dope. The uh, scrolling thing was fire. The transitions are fire. And uh, there's more to be done with the site, so don't you worry, for Roku, if you want any uh, um, extra work on that. Um, I'll let you know. So um, thank you everyone for like tuning in. Um, my battery is about to die because I used the same cord to charge this laptop for my keyboard, um, but it's the only one I got, so I can't charge and like use my keyboard at the same time. But um, I'm looking forward to streaming more. Definitely, definitely. Um, just having a lot of things happening at work right now, and um, um, still setting up some stuff on this computer. Um, you know, just, just to give me the best, like, streaming experience, because I just don't have passwords, and I just don't have, like, all my keys and stuff, so, like, if I were to, like, SSH my server, like, there's not much I can do without my pseudo password, and, um, I do not believe I have the key, let's take a look, alright, yeah, I got the key, um, I have the server, like, pretty secure and everything, so, I need, like, a little bit more than just my key and password and stuff like that, but, um, um, you know, setting up the server, um, you know, I guess we'll be, like, streaming worthy. It depends on kind of where I am and everything, but you never really know. Um, tomorrow I am planning on streaming as well. I have to finish up some of that two-factor off stuff. Um, and that's with, like, React and Material UI, so that'll be fun, that'll be fun. And, um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, thank, thank, thank you all for tuning in, if you're, if you're on the stream or watching after the fact as a, as a video. Um, I just appreciate y'all, I love all y'all, and um, I'll catch you guys next time.